What's up guys, welcome back to the Educated Barfly. Today we are gonna be doing a cocktail called Hole in the Cup by bartender named Lauren McLaughlin for Milk and Honey. But before we do that, I need you to do me a couple of favors. Firstly, me, Marius, and my dog Lily started a new channel. It's called Barfly Free Pour and I want you to go subscribe to it. Uh, Cause we need subscribers, so go subscribe to it. The second thing is that we need to, uh, I need you guys to help me hit the four pillars of YouTube algorithm. We're gonna need to make the algorithm happy on this channel, so can you please hit like, hit subscribe, uh, and then comment below, even if you don't have anything nice to say. Let me know in the comments. All right, let's get, uh, let's let's talk about this cocktail. Um, I don't really have actually that much to say about this cocktail, other than that, the reason why it's called Hole in the Cup, because it's a crowd-pleasing drink, and it, uh, it, it disappears evidently as, uh, as readily as its name implies. So uh, let's get into it. That's all I got to say. It's a milk and honey drink, so you know that this is going to be a very awesome, very exacting, but slight variation off other classic cocktails. And they are just going to be, and they are just so elegant and also brilliant and wonderful. And that's why we have them on this channel. So first thing we're going to do, two cucumber slices in our tin. We're going to do one ounce of pineapple juice. Three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup. Half an ounce of lime juice. We're gonna give the uh, cucumbers a nice little muddle. Just a light one. Bruise it, if you will. And then we're gonna do, if I can get the cap off, quarter of an ounce of uh, absinthe. Which I like, especially because this cocktail is one of those very few cocktails that use absinthe in more than just drips and drabs, and actually it's like a full quarter ounce, uh, which is nice. So it's gonna really feel the absinthe in this. And then we're gonna do an ounce and a half of Blanco tequila. We're using El Tesoro today because we like El, El Tesoro. All right, put this down, ice in our tin, rub our hands on the ice like that, and throw it in the tin. Then we're gonna Give it a little shaky poo. And we're gonna give it a little strainy pants, double strainy pants into our nice glass here. Using a slightly higher volume glass because it's a slightly highly higher volume cocktail and it's gonna sit nice. We got a good wash line on that. You know, somebody said pretty recently that we have great wash lines because of the magic of editing. But in reality, we actually don't edit our any cocktails on this channel. We do this, you know that I'm doing this because uh, I'm doing it one off and in one take. So you know that I'm not editing the wash lines, just saying. Uh, uh, but I took that as a real compliment because that means that my wash lines are perfect. I love it. All right, and then we're just gonna take the third little wheel of cucumber and put it right there. And then give it an old sippy poo. Mmm, that is amazingly crowd pleasing. What's really nice is that you get the, the pineapple, lime, and the absinthe go really well together and then the agave notes from the tequila really play really nicely in there as well. This is something that I could sip and sip and sip till it's gone and then ask for another and ask for another and after another and then all of a sudden, I get up off my bar stool and I've overdone it. That is just so good. Crowd pleasing, yes. Hole in the cup, absolutely. This would disappear almost the minute that I got it because it is so gosh darn good. It's one of those things where you're like sitting at the bar and you're talking to your friend and you're drinking and you're like, I really should pace myself with this, but I can't help it. I need to drink more. It's just so good. I just want to taste it again and again. And I got to tell you, I'm not really the hugest fan of the uh, anise flavor of absinthe, but when it is paired with wonderful flavors, like when you like a Sazerac or something, it's really nothing that beats it. So there it is. The hole in the cup.